Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen, please. I'm your host, Shen, and today we are, well, we're just cleaning up the mess. We just annexed the, what was it, the Shawnee? The Cherokee, which annexed the Cherokee, the Iroquois, the Huron, the Aztec, and the Inca. So we are, you know, just patrolling those lands. All those annexations have improved our force limit by nine. You know what? Probably because we don't have cores yet. That's why. <laughs> gonna say it's like doesn't seem any different on the number uh we do finally have a statesman i'm so happy that we finally have a freaking statesman it's amazing uh we have someone getting rid of inflation it's good but he does have a six percent chance to die every year and aragon has some dynasty problems which is great as long as he doesn't have a baby and he is pretty old then we will have a succession war against Naples. And I find that just to be fantastic. And since we have 100 prestige, and Naples probably does not, yeah, they have 16, then we will be the person who automatically has the uh, personal union with Aragon, and Naples will just try to win it against us or something. But uh, it should be fine. We should be able to win that war just by doing nothing. Naples will have to come get Aragon, and we'll already have them. I've never been in a succession war, so I, I really want to see how that works out. Sounds fun, right? Succession war? Killing everyone? Hooray, death. Let me get three dudes. Uh, two guys and a cannon. And we'll go on the boat over to here, where the colony is. We also have a colony here in Magdalena, so we should get some dudes down there. Uh, I don't really want to spare anyone, but I guess we can. Maybe we'll bring them from up here. I don't know. Maybe I'll just build a couple guys down here. Let's do that. And a cannon. And they can go sit in Magdalena. I need to save up some money because we have special buildings. You know, I can do the march right now. A uh, bunch of extra manpower. Very useful. Put it in... I don't know. Navarra? Whatever. Put it wherever. And I do need to connect up all this shit, but the coastline is more important. Pomlico and Santi are far more important than any of this connective tissue. Uh, same thing over here. I need to get Narangaset and Massachusetts and Penacook. I need to get up to Micmac. There's a mission to get Micmac, right? Actually, no, there's not. There used to be a mission to get Micmac. Let's see. Colonial restrictions. What does this do? Increase control over your colonies by imposing strict strict rules in regards to trade and production. Uh, production efficiency goes up. Stability cost goes down. Settler chance goes down. Global settler chance. Oh. No. Liquor acts... Mm, taxes versus stability cost. Actually, yeah, that with Suffragan Bishop would mean overall we get plus one to tax and stability cost goes down by three. So that's good. Good combination of, of choices there. Individually, they're both not amazing, but together they make a nice combo. Can I afford another colony? I really want to build another colony like right now. I think think I can afford it, but let's not tempt fate. Let's save up some dollars. Did you stop patrolling? My ships just randomly stopped patrolling. What the hell? Keep patrolling, dude. <laughs> You're supposed to be patrolling Sevilla. I've never seen that before. They, they stopped patrolling, and then it said, oh, you've arrived. Just keep patrolling, dude. Uh, my stupid vassal has still not started to core Tangiers. If he would core Tangiers, I could annex him. But, you know, he doesn't seem to want to core anything. Uh, let's go back to improving relations. With whom? Let's do Aragon, just to make sure that we get that PU when, they, when the king dies. Oh man, I love that. Succession War, it sounds so good. And Algiers left the coalition against us. Very cool. Austria has a Trastamara. Loving that. Loving that, Austria. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, man. Can you imagine getting a union over Austria? Oof. Okay, we can tech up. What do, do we want to tech up? Mm, 
What? Naval range? Or naval morale, colonial range? Sure. And military attack. How many years ahead are we? Four years. But January will be three years, so we'll do it in January. Getting eight a month. Wow. Ah, oh, Juana, Juana, Juana. Sixty-three and still kicking it. Oh, what's up? Portugal declared war on Mali. It's a crusade. What? The crusade target is the Mamluks. Well, then this can't possibly be a crusade. It calls it a crusade. Ugh. I can't release nations while I'm at war, but I guess I can join that. I don't want Portugal to be upset with me. And besides, we have a lot of religious conversions to do. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm at war with Molly, but they want military access. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, Molly. Looks like Portugal's getting more islands in here. Yep. That's fine, I guess. It's good base tax, but they can have it. Boom, 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 boom. How much are these cores anyway? Yeah, it's once. I'm not gonna spend hundreds and hundreds and thousands on coring shit. Uh, wait till the end of the year. Bingo. Core or eh, eh, supply limit, military tactics, and a new unit. Yes, please. Ooh. Do we want tertio or free shooter? Probably Tertio, because it's the first unit that uses fire. Very good. Alright, conversions come in. Good, good, good. And we have a free diplomat. Who should we diplomatize? Hmm... We actually are still making good money. I think I will splurge on another colony. <clears throat> Give me two dudes and a cannon. And you need to go stand in Narangaset. No one's coming down South America. You know, I'm kind of surprised France hasn't started colonizing. They're so strong. You think they would? No, they're not going exploration at all. What about Sweden? No. Norway? No. Savoy? Hmm. Algeria? Naples? Yeah, no one's going exploration. This is really weird. So even without claiming Aragon's throne, there's going to be a succession war anyway. Really interesting. Um, we could throw admin points. I guess we might as well. Not like we're using them now. We already got plus three stability for that wonderful, wonderful achievement. Let's get up to Magdalena. And we converted more land. Good. As soon as we're done converting, we'll release them. Damn it. Leave him alone, Poland. Shit's mine, dog. And our queen died. Okay, finally. Now we can get marriages again. Alright, let me see. Do we still have the personal union situation? Yes, still have succession war. Good. Now let's go ahead and get marriages again. 
Let me do England first, because the relations are so bad up there. Okay. Oh, finally we can get marriages again. And we have an heir. Yay. Isabel. We have a female heir. Not digging the whole female thing because you seem to run into situations where you can't have babies. And if your heir dies past, I think, the age of 40, maybe 45, if your heir dies, you're just stuck there. You can't have any freaking heirs. Here, come down here, dude. You seem confused. You're not patrolling the right trade node. And I'm not sure why. Patrol Sevilla. Do it. Jerk. Alright. So we have four colonies now? No, still three. Almost four. Let's see. Serranos is going to finish first. Hmm... Alright. Okay, who needs kisses? Brittany? Would you like kisses? Would you like to be a vassal? No. If we didn't have the distance, he might be a bat might want to be a vassal, but with the distance he doesn't. Alright, work on England. And we do still have a free diplomat. Can we bump relations? Yeah, let's boost boost relations with Portugal, why not? Keep them super happy. Did I mention Austria is a Trostamara now? <laughs> it's so nice. Go convert Ohio. Ooh. Brittany has a problem. Really? Ooh, this might be an opportunity here. Scotland's going to be in a PU under France. Oh, no. Sweden's already in a PU under Russia. Who cares? Oh, Russia Russia has formed. Hey, go Russia. Kind of OP that they have a PU over, Switz over Sweden. But whatever. Keep converting. So quick. And it helps that we have good stability, too. Okay, our fourth colony has arrived, and sure enough, that was that was plenty to cause us to have problems with money. Although we're still okay. Maintain shipping routes. We're going to need some more boats for that. Claim Bairn? No way. Colonize Maracaibo. Well, I probably will colonize Maracaibo, actually. So, sure, let me take that one. We'll do it as soon as Magdalena finishes. England's going for Canada. I am fine with that. And Poland keeps trying to steal my damn cardinal. Go away, Poland. Portugal's enjoying their war. You know what? I think I'll just peace out as soon as I have a diplomat. I don't need this war. I'm not helping. I want to be able to release vassals, and I can't do that if I'm at war. Although, granted, I didn't want to do it before I finished annexing Tunisia anyway. Hmm, three years. Looks like we're pretty much done with the Cherokee lands. Okay, let's work up here. Okay, max relations with England. Very good. 
Rebels, 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 whatever. Damn it, Lorraine. Learn your place. Stay out of my business. Hmm. Yeah, work on Austria. Wow, we're only at plus 67. Whew. Still no air. God, 54. Just die. Just die, dude. I've never been in a succession war. I want to be in a succession war. Aragon's at war with Burgundy? Why? What's this over? Attacking Burgundy in the conquest of Venice. Oh, he has a claim on Venice! <laughs> He's going for Venice. Lovely. Go Aragon. You guys are so aggressive. It's hilarious. I, I, don't, I still don't get, if they're so aggressive now, why wouldn't they try to hold on to their union over Naples? They had a union over Naples at the start of the game. They lost it at some point. Just low prestige or something. They lost it. And they never went to war for it. If you lose a union, you can go to war for it immediately and get it back. But you, after a while, you lose your ability to do it. You, it's only like a, a one-year or two-year option, or maybe maybe ten years. But he just waited it out. He never went to war for it. He's like, whatever. I don't want that union. It's like, are you are you kidding? I mean, now he's going to war all day long. It's like, I don't know. It's weird. And we can invest in a cardinal, but he's 51. Hmm. I should invest in him. Kind of weird that they got a new guy with 100 points. That's quite a lot to start with. And we've maxed relations with Portugal. That's nice. Uh, we should probably go back to Brittany then. Just in case they ever want to vassalize, I want to be ready with open arms. You know? Ooh. Gain stability or gain a bunch of tradition? We don't really need the stability. I like tradition. self-sustaining. Very good. Core it. Go to Maracaibo. Get my cardinal back. Guess I got my cardinal back. And we're almost done in Serranos? Eh, almost. My fleet's down here for some reason. Why is my fleet in Serranos? I don't know. Um, I think we'll take our... F I don't know. Yeah, well... Hmm. My fleet doesn't really need to be anywhere right now. Alright, the war's over. Mali will cede Gabu and Wolof to Portugal. Alright. Fine with me. Uh, you're in another war now? You're at war with Aragon now? Oh no. Well, I hope I don't get drawn into this war. And he still doesn't have a baby. See, it's a dude, right? King Farron is a dude. So even at 54, he can still have kids. It's not like my Juana, where at 45 or 50, she can't have any more babies. At least at 54, he still has a chance at an heir. The 
is very lucky to have a penis. Alright, let me check. Uh, has Fez cored this yet? No, they're still not even trying. God damn it, Fez. He did convert his capital to Catholic, which is good. That's actually pretty difficult because it's a base 7, but he did convert it to Catholic. So everything is Catholic except Tangiers, and I can understand him not converting it because I can convert it later, but I just want him to core it because I don't want to spend the points to core that shit, you know? I just want to annex him. And I would love to I would love to start the annexation before I finish Tunisia. And even if he doesn't core it, I'm still going to start the annexation before I finish Tunisia. I just want to get that done. Okay, that's all of North America converted. Wow, I can't believe how fast it all converts. All right, let's do the Aztecs. The song is stuck in my head. Oh, look at you going through the open lands. Cool. Serranos is done. Now, where to? We should fill in everything. I guess we will start on filling in. Let's start with the coast up here. Oh, we have completed our mission to colonize Maracaibo, which gives us extra settler chance for five years. Not bad. Now what? Turn Powhatan into a city. Okay. We're almost done. We're almost done with that anyway. So that works. I like when they give us missions that are super easy. It feels like you're actually achieving something, even if you're lazy as crap. Still no air? Still no air. 55 years old. Whew. Very cool. I hope that sticks, but that doesn't mean it will. There's no guarantees in this world. Ottomans and Morocco. Ottomans and Morocco. Coalition against Hedges. Oh man, Hedges just beat the crap out of the Mamluks. Ha! And Syria has not come under Ottoman threat. In fact, the Ottomans have removed all their claims. Very curious. Hmm. And they still have cores, right? See, now, I would be tempted to come in here and just vassalize Syria and then go to war with the Ottomans and blah, blah, blah. But for now, for the sake of being friendly, let's keep relations up with the Ottos. Dem Otto derps. You know, I'm actually surprised. We've had very little revolts. It could be because we have super good prestige, legitimacy, and stability. But, I mean, we've had like a couple particularists, and that's it. Hmm. I would like to flesh out this area just to kind of block Portugal off, if possible. 
Have they gone anywhere else in Africa? Yes, they are starting to go south. And they did get Cape. All right, well, fuck it. We're not going to go that way then. I put in my two Miko... Micro? Microseconds? Picoseconds? I put in two picoseconds of effort into Africa and I gave up. <laughs> we didn't get everything. Oh, there we go. We have gained leadership in this war. Why? Because we now have succession war against Naples. Oh, goodness. Austria, come into my war. He won't. But we did get our union over Aragon. So that's fantastic. Does that mean I can form Spain right now? Or do we have to be at peace? We have to be at peace to form Spain. Okay. Burgundy. I need peace, bro. Bro? He doesn't want peace. Uh, he doesn't want to serve. Oh. He doesn't want money. Well... What do you want, then? I mean, I probably don't even have to bring any troops over here. It looks like Aragon's going to go invade Portugal for me. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Well, at the end of the day, we have our union over Aragon, no matter what happens in this war. So we don't really need to go grab Venice, even though he, even though he has a claim on it. We don't need to go do that. Um, hmm. Naples, would you like peace? No. Oh. What do we have to do in the war with Naples? Take Valencia. Aragonese succession war. No causes belly. Take Valencia. Well, I don't think they're going to do it. They, they could try, I guess. And we should probably bring some dudes back. I mean, feels a little weird not having an army over there. Uh, we are at war with Portugal, so we could steal some colonies right now. I wish these were still colonies. What is still a colony? That's a colony. Oh, so we could steal Cape Town. I am going to do that. Why would I not steal Cape Town? Go to the coast. Don't tell Portugal we're going to steal their colonies. But I'm totally going to steal their colonies. It's too bad we're at war with Portugal. Can I piece them out individually? Probably. No. Hmm else is in this war? Venice, Tuscany, Switzerland, Portugal, and Ferrara. Switzerland do you want out? I mean, there's just all these little derps that I don't need in the war. Oh well. We'll deal with this next time. We did get our union over Aragon, and I think that's the most important part. The rest of this war is just pointless. But yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. I have been Shen. You have been you. We'll come back next time where we will enjoy our personal union over Aragon. See you then. Have a good day.